And now, we will use the easiest method on how to find the vertex of a quadratic function. So we have negative b over 2a. Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In today's video, we will try to find the vertex of the following quadratic functions. So that further ado, let's do this topic. So what we are here are two quadratic functions wherein we are asked to find the vertex. By the way, when you say vertex of a quadratic function, these are the coordinates of the quadratic function's called vertex. We have h for the x-coordinate and k as for the y-coordinate. And now, we will use the easiest method on how to find the vertex of a quadratic function. Let's get started. We have here the formula negative b over 2a. This one represents the x and this is your y. Ibig sabihin, for us to find the value of x or h, we will use the formula negative b over 2a. So we have negative b over 2a. So now, we have y is equal to 2x squared minus 2, 4x plus 1. What is the value of a here? The value of a is 2, the coefficient of your x squared. What about the value of b? As for the value of b, that is the coefficient of your linear term, which is negative 4. Now, we will plug in it here to our formula. We have negative 4 as the value of b. It was 2 negative times negative 4 over, this is 2 originally, then a times 2. So again, this is for the value of h. Simplify, you have negative times negative, that is positive 4, over 2 times 2, that is equal to 4, meaning the value of h here is simply 1. So again, let's put it here, your h comma k here is simply 1. Now, let's find out the value of k. As the value of k, or as for the value of k, what we need to do is to plug in the value of h. So, why? Because this h is the same as the value of x. So, we will just evaluate this function. We have y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. So, we will plug in this value of 1 here, that would be y is equal to 2 times 1 square minus 4 times 1 plus 1. Let's simplify. You have your 2 times 1 minus 4 plus 1. And then this would be 2 minus 4 plus 1. And what is now the value of y? That is 2 minus 4 plus 1. That would be negative 1. This is now the value of y, meaning this is also the value of k. So now, as for the vertex of the given quadratic function, y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. The vertex is located at 1, negative 1. So now... Let's find out the vertex of the other quadratic function. Again, let us use the formula. h is equal to negative b over 2a. So identify first what is the value of a here. The value of a here is negative 1. The value of b is equal to 6. Let's substitute the values. We have here negative copy the negative, and then your b is 6, so that would be negative 6 over 2 times your a, which is negative 1. Then simplify, you have your negative 6 over negative 2, and the correct answer is simply negative, or no, the answer is 3. This is now the value of h. So as for the vertex, h comma k, that would be 3 
comma, your k. Now, let's plug in here the value of h, which is our x. You have your y is equal to negative x squared plus 6x minus 8. This is y is equal to negative. Then plug in the value of x, which is 3, or the value of h, which is 3. We have your 3 square here plus 6 times 3 minus 8. So this would be y is equal to 3 square is equal to 9 times negative. That would be negative 9 plus 18 minus 8. So my technique here is that I will try to add first the integer with the same sign, which is negative 9 and negative 8, that it is y is equal to 18, and this would be minus 17. And as you can see, subtracting 18 and 17, your y is simply 1. This is the value of y and also the value of k, meaning the coordinates of the vertex of this function is simply 3, comma, 1. Now, as part of our routine, I would give you the third quadratic function. And can you please put in our comment section what is the vertex of this function? y is equal to x squared plus 12x plus 32. So again, guys, follow for more.